Welcome back to the channel and today I want to just have fun building the most overpowered go-kart because uh, I just thought it would look super cool and just be super fun to attach this giant rocket engine to what is essentially a go-kart or rather build a go-kart around this giant rocket engine and just try to have a fun drivable go-kart experience with the most massive rocket booster in the game. Now, this is not about breaking the sound barrier because I've already done that with this booster by creating a super small aerodynamic vehicle. This isn't about aerodynamics or speed. This is about form and function. And the form is supposed to look like a go-kart and the function is supposed to drive in a controllable manner. Breaking the sound barrier, you don't really have to turn or anything like that. This, I actually wanna be able to have fun driving this thing around, which I think is going to be a challenge just because of the amount of power this thing outputs. So for this to work, um, I am going to require that I need to use a go-kart seat and go-kart wheels. So to give you a little bit of an idea here about how this thing may look, uh, that is probably going to be the profile of it. Well, here, maybe I move the seat forward because I, I need to have an attachment point here. There we go. And then in the true go-kart fashion, I am going to have like a bumper thing going all the way around. Maybe not around the back here, just because the exhaust, it doesn't really make sense to have metal pipes going in behind the exhaust. So I think what we can do is use the piping and the piping actually ends at the back wheels here. And then perhaps we can angle, there we go, angle in towards the body. And then what do we need? Like a four or something before we angle back out. Now look at that. That looks nice and symmetrical. That's actually looking pretty good, isn't it? Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. These wheels need steering on them. So I don't think I actually want, I don't want it to be attached on that side. I want it to steer kind of, kind of normally. All right. So if I attach that there, now I should be able to add steering like that. And then I want this to go all the way around the front as well. All right, this is looking pretty good for go-kart profile now, but uh, the problem is none of this is attached to this. But it looks like, looks like I can have an attachment point here. There we go, now we're all one piece. So let's see if this thing drives as is right now um before i start now i have all the basic functionality for going <laughs> isn't this crazy just how this looks right now all right it goes straight pretty well this thing has a lot of power but a slow acceleration so oh no all right yeah see this this is what i was worried about is controllability we can drive straight but as soon as i turn look at that that was just i tapped the control once so oh boy i don't know how uh I don't know how we're gonna deal with it. Yeah, look at that. It just spins out. So you know what? You know what the problem is? Problem is center of mass. Also, I need a regular engine just to help with taxiing. Maybe I can like uh, attach it up here. That might help with the mass issues as well. But you see our center of mass is way back here because this is a hundred kilograms. Uh, in order to have a more stable vehicle, the center of mass needs to be closer to the front axle, I believe, especially when it comes to turning. But I think I do want Maybe, you know, maybe a bulldog engine is the minimum I'll need uh, to taxi around. Oh, oh, how about this? How about this? We'll put a bulldog engine right there, and then I'll put a 50 kilogram weight right there. Where does that bring the center of mass? It's in the more in the middle, but is it close enough to the front? But at least now I should be able to drive like a normal go-kart. Look at that. And now we can at least have reverse because we couldn't do that with the rocket engine. And now we can boost. Wait, does the existence? No, we, we're get, we're picking up speed. Okay, all right, now I'm gonna try to turn, ready? Okay, that's the problem. I can't unturn. I'm, I'm in a perpetual donut. I'm literally, <laughs> this is awesome. Now this is drifting right here. Too bad I can't undrift with this engine. This is so cool. Drift carts. That has to be a thing. You know, you know how there's those go-kart tracks that anybody can drive? There has to be like a drift cart track. So it's not like a real car. It's a go-kart with bumpers, but they're designed for drifting. Please tell me that's a real thing because I will I need that I need that to happen. I need that in my life. Alright, that was awesome though, wasn't it? Look at that. Look at that circle. Okay, see, this is exactly what I was hoping for. When we start building something overpowered like this, cool stuff is bound to happen, and that was definitely cool. But how do I now stabilize this? Here's one option. 
Uh, I'm gonna try to add some tail fins, perhaps. That adds some pretty nice aesthetic to it as well, I think. All right, let's see how that uh, impacts our drivability. All right, here we go. Boost up. All right, we're going over 150 miles per hour. Okay, it helps. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Okay. Oh, my God. Stability is still... Oh, wow. Look at that. That's not good. Oh, you know what? You know what I might need? You know what maybe we need? It's so hard to stay going in the, in one direction doing that. It's just constantly... It's like the back wheels do not want to stay behind the front wheels. They just want to keep shifting to the side. But maybe we need some downforce. Is it possible to add, like, a little bit of this to the front somehow? Maybe... I don't... Well, hold, maybe, like, these? I don't think that ruins the aesthetic. Yeah, I think that still looks okay. And then I'll just put this on top of there. We really need this block to have an attachment point right here. Because it only has an attachment point on the bottom. So I can't do this. Because it's just not just not going to be attached. All right, but let's see if perhaps having some downforce in the front like that makes a difference. It'll make me go faster. That well, It's going to make me go a lot faster, but does it keep... Oh. Oh. I don't think my front wheels are even on the ground anymore. No, that might be a problem. The faster we go, I think the more what it's doing is it's pushing that nose into the ground. Oh, see, I still have the issue of oversteering. Crazy oversteering issues, even at... 20 miles, 30 miles per hour. You know what's really annoying? This pipe piece right here. Why is the stripe gotta be there? I can't, I can't change that. If I rotate it that way, it doesn't serve its purpose. All right, maybe this was a little bit too much. Maybe just this is good enough and I can add some, uh, some of these to the front. Does that look okay? I mean, it looks kind of weird, but I think it looks okay. We're just gonna have a little bit less downforce, which I think will help our steering. Okay. It does definitely help our steering, but it doesn't help our main issue, which still might be a weight issue. If it is a weight issue, I have an idea. So this is only 9.4 kilograms. So I'm going to delete this and I'm going to move this to the back right there. And look, it actually has the attachment points I need. And now I'm going to double up this weight in the front. So now we have 100 kilograms. Now you can see it's getting up more towards the front axle. Let's see if this helps. Okay, we have some turning. Do we have unturning? Straighten out. Straight, straighten out. Ugh. See, like, it only wants to be on an angle. There's this, the, the straight, the straight direction doesn't work. All right, I wonder, you know what? Maybe we need more downforce in the back as well. Because maybe the back wheels aren't getting a good enough grip because all the downforce is in the front. And there's just not a lot of downforce back here. We do need our center we need our center of mass to be closer to the front, but we should have downforce kind of on all wheels, right? You know what else would be a nice piece to have? A shorter spoiler. Like a two a two by two spoiler instead of this two by four. Because I kind of want to just have like a split spoiler. Oh, that could be... Oh, that actually could look kind of cool. That could work for a go-kart aesthetic. I just need to figure out how... Oh, I got... I know how. Okay. This is actually kind of coming together as a pretty cool-looking go-kart, in my opinion. Let's see how this uh, impacts things. Oh, you can see the body get closer to the ground the faster we go. All right, so we're going straight. Can we turn and then go straight again? All right, turning is actually very hard, but... It has solved our straightening out issue. So look at this. I stopped turning. And now we're going straight again. So th that did work. This is kind of interesting. I, I am, like, d learning things about vehicle physics and how to, like, solve certain problems just by focusing on the smallest of vehicles. A go-kart with the largest of boosters. This is really cool. So, I mean, as expected, though, if you're going super fast, you just don't have a good turning radius. So I'm kind of not super disappointed in that. Um, I am wondering if I can do anything to help increase the turning radius, though. I mean, it's not bad just at, like, normal, reasonable speeds. Like, how fast should a go-kart be going? 30 miles an hour? That sounds reasonable and safe. I know there's, like, super-powered go-karts in real life, and we are creating one now. But you don't want to be turning more than that when you're going that fast. All right, so I'm going to try to add some more aesthetics to make this thing just look cool, like a cooler go-kart. And then let's actually take it on a real track in the game. All right, I think I have finished painting up the go-kart. 
I feel like we need a different name for this thing. Go is just... It's not quite strong enough. There needs to be a different word. Something else cart. Like boost cart, but even that doesn't feel strong enough. What do you guys... Let me know down in the comments below what the ideal name for such a creation would be. A go-kart that can go 225 miles per hour. All right, let's uh, save this thing and let's take it on an actual racing course and see what happens. You know what I haven't been on is our, the rally, the rally thing. Can I spawn this thing in rally? Are there build limitations? It's been so long since I've been in this, but I think we'll at least have like opponents in this, uh, in this mode. Oh, we cannot. This is not available in this mode. Wait, what if I just press build? Not enough power core. Okay, all right. There's too many limitations here. All right, but Race Island does not have any limitations. So let's start with the easy one. Let's just do a quick drag race. Let's see uh, what kind of time we get on a drag race with a go-kart. All right, here we go. I've, I, already, I started the rocket engine like two seconds before it even started. But as you can see, we do not have the acceleration for a drag race. Drag race is super about acceleration. So we have a, an 11 second drag race, which compared to the leaderboard here, uh, not doing too well for the supersonic lead. This isn't the best creation for supersonic league. It's just a little go-kart. We need a race that is road because I don't think, I mean, I guess the speed circuit would be a good one. I wish there was like an actual go-kart course here. All of the other ones have dirt on them. You know what? I bet there is a go-kart mod. Is it Mario Kart? You know what? This one is a good one. All right, and here we have it. So it looks like we got to go in the uh, this direction because oh, that looks like an arrow pointing in this direction. So we're going to do our own time trial here and hold on a second. How do I... How do I get into the course though? Okay, there's an invisible barrier around the whole course. How am I supposed to get into the course? Oh, here we go. Oh, no, not quite yet. All right, we're ready to do our own time trial here. Look at this thing. This is booster on the back. Just makes it look so insane. All right. Let's see how long it takes me to complete this course. I, I, do you think, even think I could do it without crashing? The turns are going to be insane. I'm not even going to be able to get up to a, a decent enough speed, but I'm just going to try it. I just wanted to see what this go-kart's like on an actual go-kart style track. Here we go. In three, two, one, race. It doesn't even have that much acceleration. Oh boy, here we go. Oh, all right. I gotta really, gotta really throttle the thruster. Uh. All right, you know what? It turns better than I was expecting, to be honest. Oh no. Okay, and it breaks pretty decently as well. And you know what? Now that I've like warmed up the booster, it does seem to have more acceleration. I feel like, uh, I feel like this is actually doing pretty good. Uh, I was going to go for the shortcut, decided against it. All right. And you know what? I feel like that's a pretty good time. In comparison, if I don't use the thruster. Holy cow. This is how fast I go through the course without a thruster. This is insane. All right, I'm just going to finish the course like this and let's compare the time. Even though I had a little bit of boost at the beginning of this from when I finished. Uh, so whatever time I get is going to be better than my uh, my be my best possible time at this speed. And into the finish. So that was, I, I don't know what the official time was. That's gonna be done in editing. Uh, shout out to the editor. But clearly it, it, it felt much more boring and much slower than this. And there, I, I did wanna crash this thing at some point. All right, I'm gonna do a full speed crash now once I take this corner. Oh yeah, look at that. This thing is not too bad to control. And boom. Oh my goodness. Didn't even stand a chance. So there it is. The over-engineered, overpowered go-kart actually performs better than I think a regular go-kart would. So I'm at least happy with that. I thought it was just going to be a terrible nightmare of a creation, which is like, this is why we don't put giant thrusters on go-karts. But I think it actually turned out pretty well. Oh yeah, and it has donut capabilities. There we go. All right, if you have any other ideas that you'd like to see happen in Trail Makers, let me know down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.